Uh, any of the other ones? No, no, just a... Funny enough, you mentioned Peppa Pig earlier on. Uh, uh, yeah. But David Graham, the original Parker and Brains, he's Grandpa Pig. No! Yeah, oh, <laughs> so, I didn't know that. I'm sure a lot of people here have met him because he comes to Doctor Who events. Absolute delight on that. Oh. When the, the new series of Thunderbirds, the CGI version came out, yeah. he's the only actor who's actually doing voice again. Right. And he said, it's very popular, they want to do 26 more. Mm. I said, get a move on, I'm 93, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Any other last questions? Right, uh, yeah, keeping on the Thunderbirds theme, uh, what was it like to work with Jonathan Frakes as director? Oh, I loved, I loved him. I loved him so much. Um, he was so funny and so, yeah, he was lovely, really lovely. Other questions? We have about five minutes left. Oh, hello. One of my yeah, Spooks was great. It was nice because it uh, shot out all down in Bermondsey, so I was able to live at home for a bit doing that one. Um, what can I tell you about Spooks? That um, Peter Bird is very naughty and will constantly try and make you what they call corpse, which is, I don't know if you guys know what that means, but corpsing is where you're in the middle of a scene and you get the giggles, but the problem with it is, is that when that happens it's like um it becomes it's like having hiccups it's not just like you get the giggles for a second and it's over it's like this sort of infectious thing that you can't stop um and it is funny initially but then it gets to the point where you know the crew and the director's getting really pissed off so you've got to kind of get it together but i generally just did it because i'm terrible i always get the giggles at work but i literally i sometimes end up having to like bite through my tongue you know to stop myself Question on the front row. Tell you the song that I really love. Every Christmas, um, I, uh, there's a song that Peter Kay uh, sings, uh, dressed up as that character, Geraldine. Um, do you guys know what that is? Do you know what it is? Yeah. No. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's great. I'll share it with everyone on uh, Twitter maybe tomorrow. It's kind of a parody of X Factor, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Couple more minutes. Any more questions? Yes, Peter Davison. Yeah, uh, what about Jodie Whittaker? Um, Jodie Whittaker, I'm really excited for her. I um, I I don't watch the show now. I do want to tune in though and you know see what it's like. I'm sure she's brilliant, and I think it's. I think it's a really, I know there was a lot of sort of diehards that were um, not going to be about the agenda change, but I think at the moment, you know, we're in a kind of climate now with the new generation kind of coming up where it, there's so much more gender fluidity and sexual fluidity, so I think it's really nice to, you know, mix it up a bit. Any other questions from the audience? Right, That's a really good question. Um, I think uh, time period. I don't know. I like kind of a lot of soul, like funk, soulful funk music, if that's even the right term for it. Do you know, like um, um, just yeah, kind of. But I don't really know what time period. Anything that kind of you know, you know you hear good music when you hear it, and sometimes it doesn't really matter like oh, when it was made, you know? So, yeah, I like all kinds of music. Well, this young man just inspired me for a question. We're here <clears throat> celebrating a, a show about time travel. If you had access to a time machine, where would you go? Definitely back in time. Um, <laughs> Somewhere where you don't have to wear a corset, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I kind of... You know you hear about those lost cities, like Atlantis, and there's another one, Lemuria. Um, maybe, uh, you know, if it's true that some, some of those places were once above the sea, 
made and then obviously went down but yeah i think one of them also there's this place do you guys know where easter island is mm -hmm. yeah yeah and you know like those statues that clearly like those heads and it's kind of people wonder how on earth did they get them there when it's an island and there's no sort of natural rock there i'm really intrigued about what was going on at that time um and and why they chose to make make those particular sculptures well i'm just beginning soon to to wind up but i'll just want to ask that bring up to present day we've been talking obviously about joe anderson but you're working on another joe anderson series yeah. is that a puppet series or is that um, animated yeah so jamie Addison, Jerry's son, um, has sort of decided to take on um, Jerry's legacy. Um, and so what he's done is he's going right back to the sort of old school ways in which Jerry um, created the Thunderbirds and all the other stuff he did with the actual marionette work. So we're working together on a series called Firestorm, which I believe they've released a pilot or just a clip. Um, but yeah, and he also, just before we wrap up, talking about the sort of Thunderbirds thing, he said, like, when he was younger, he, like, had, I mean, I know that people have paid millions for them, for the original Lady Penelope puppets, but he said he used to have a Lady Penelope and Parker in a bin bag in his wardrobe. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, we could have sold those on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's been an absolute pleasure and quite a revelation in to know you in the last 40 minutes. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, Please thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. Please show your appreciation.